Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a nine month check-in on my luxury project pan. So project pan is when you take a selection of your makeup items and then you just dedicate yourself to using up said items. I started off at the beginning of the year with Angela Van Rose, Grace at Everyday Edit, and Amico Vita. But now we're just doing these check-ins on our own, up to our own pace. And so I've been trying to do these every three months. I think it's been helping me to keep accountable because some of these products, as soon as I film the video for an update on the project pin, sometimes I just forget that they exist. So before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a makeup artist as well as esthetician, and I now offer online beauty consulting services. So this is your one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you have any and all questions about your foundation, the right shade, the application, or any and all makeup or beauty questions you might have, you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one virtually. So if you wanna make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. So when I started this luxury project pan, I started off with basically a full face of makeup. I went through every category and picked out these items. And some of these categories have been doing so well, and some of these categories, mm, not so much. So let's go ahead and start off with the categories that I have been struggling with the most. So I must admit that the number one product that I have struggled with the absolute most, I'm struggling to open it right now. This is from Dior. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer. It's a highlighter shade 001. Now, this is an absolutely beautiful, breathtaking highlighter. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just have so many other highlighters and I bought a couple this summer. I bought a new one from Westman Atelier, the Peau de Rose, and then I bought a liquid highlighter. I bought two liquid highlighters from Chanel this year. So unfortunately, this one here, even though it's part of my project pan, often gets neglected, is usually shoved to the very back of the drawer. I had to fish it out underneath a sea of other products this morning, so you know, I'm gonna to try to keep using it. It's a beautiful product. I always love when I use it. So, I don't know, I'm coming to, what's the word? Like I'm accepting the fact that I will not succeed in every category of Project Pan this year. I will do one last final check-in in December. That will be one year, so we'll see. Now, the next item that is not doing so well in this uh, Project Pan is this Cheek Gelé. This is a liquid blush from Chantecai. This is the shade Vibrant. The only reason that this product is lagging behind and struggling is because of the sheer quantity of product. It's a liquid blush and it's quite intense. It's quite opaque. They have other colors in this format that are a little bit more sheer and you don't use as much, but this one here, you need like a little pea size amount for one whole application. So I'm trying to use it up, but there's absolutely no way that I'm going to use this much blush in three months. I will look like a clown if I do. So I'm gonna keep using it, but I've admitted defeat on this one here. I have exactly one ringlet right here. It's beautiful. I wish the rest of my hair would cooperate and become a ringlet like this one here. Let's just take a moment to appreciate my curly hair cooperating slightly. Okay, next up is a bronzing palette here from Guernet. This is the Terracotta Contour and Glow Palette. I've only been using the two bronzers because this blush highlighter I don't think is that great. And I have made progress. The problem is as well that I have just bought a couple new bronzers this summer. I bought two from Chanel. I bought the cream bronzer and then the powder bronzer from the Le Beige collection. And so this one, as well as the Dior highlighter, just sort of got shoved in the back of the drawer and I had to go fish for them this morning. They're not bad colors, I guess. I don't know, I just don't reach for them. And there's no way that I'm really realistically going to hit pan on both of these. Maybe one, maybe the lighter one, because the lighter one, or wait, I think this is the lighter one here. You can go a bit heavier. You can sort of dig into it a bit more. 
maybe i mean i have made progress on the detailing and the embossing that's a good sign but it just still seems like there's quite a bit of product left in here if i can just like sort of hit pan if i can just see the bottom of the pan on one of these I will think of that as a success for this project pan here. Now moving on to an eyeliner. This is the Chanel Estilo aux yeux in Intense Teal. Now I absolutely love this color. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love blue and green eyeshadow or eye looks. This color is so beautiful. It's dark, it's blue, it's green, it's really lovely. And going into this, I wholeheartedly thought that I would wear this eyeliner all summer. I thought that I would wear this during the warmer months, and I don't know what happened. I didn't really wear it for some reason. I think I just collected new blue and green eyeliners and eyeshadows, and so this sort of fell to the back. But now that I have a new eyeshadow palette from Dior, the denim palette, I think that intense teal will mix into this very well. I think it'll create a darker look, but I think both of these together will be very beautiful. So now I have an incentive to use this up more. There is still quite a bit of product in here. I twisted it up all the way, so I don't know if I'll be able to use the whole thing up. I mean, maybe if I just use it every time I use the denim palette, then possibly I could use it up. Maybe, we'll see. I have hope for this one here. Okay, moving on to an eyeshadow palette. This is from Chanel. This is the Warm Memories palette. Now, some of these colors have definitely made progress. The light peachy color I find is the easiest color to wear just for like a light wash of color. This one here is getting down much lower. Like you can physically see, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but in person, you can physically see that some of the colors are lower than some of the other ones. The least used I think is this one here and this up here with the matte one and the peach one being more used. I will not use up this entire palette this year, that's impossible, but maybe I can hit pan on one of these. I just need to remember to use it more often. I just have too many products, that's the problem. Wow, what a first world problem, but I could hopefully make a little dent in here to you know hit the pan maybe closely. Okay, moving on to a second eyeliner. This is also a Chanel Stilo aux yeux. This is in the shade Noir Intense. This is simply a black eyeliner, but sometimes I don't wear eyeliner and then they dry up and they break and it's quite unfortunate. So I've been trying to just use this more often and I've twisted this up all the way that it'll go. So this is all that I have left of this eyeliner here. I am completely confident that I will use this up in the next three months. Yes, I do have a lot of different colors of eyeliner, but I think if I just go in and add a little bit of line every day, this will be used up quite shortly. This one here, there is no issue of confidence. I know this will be used up quite shortly. I apologize if you can hear some low rumblings or grinding noises. It is not coming from me. Once again, there is construction in the city of Montreal where I live, so I'm just trying to live and work while they also live and work in the construction zone outside my house. Okay, moving on. We have here one of my proudest accomplishments in this collection here. This is the Chanel Joux Contrast Blush number 72 Rose Initiale. So this is a blush. It's a perfect peachy pink. I absolutely love this shade. And as you can see, I have successfully and thoroughly hit pan. I have hit pan everywhere. You can see the entire pan here. What is remarkable is that there is still so much product left. I keep using it thinking that I won't be able to get any product or color out of it, but no, every time I just swirl my brush around and more product comes out. Now, what's remarkable about this blush hitting pan as well is that this feels empty. It feels lightweight. If I compare it to the eyeshadow palette, technically the eyeshadow palette is supposed to have half the weight of the blush, but the eyeshadow palette feels heavier. So this feels like a tangible, 
physical accomplishment here. All right, moving on to some foundation. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 5.5. Now, I have made some progress on this. I have made quite some headway. You can see through the bottle. I did not shake it up because I wanted you to see this hole, this like crack here. You can see through the product, there's basically product only down to here now, which is very nice. I had made progress, but I slowed down a little bit because I bought a couple new foundations this summer, and in the summer I don't really like to wear something too heavy. This is like a light to medium coverage, but I like really light coverage in the summer. But I think in three months I will definitely finish this up or be incredibly close to finishing. I am just so happy. I can't wait to see more little holes or peekaboos in the foundation a little bit lower here i'm quite happy with some of these products here i'm just like yes i'm finally doing it i'm finally finishing these up so this one here is on my list of items i want to use up shortly all right now we have a product here from shantikai this is the pangolin single eye shade now i added this in the category here because i really really love the shadow and i just wanted to make sure that i would use it up but that hasn't really been an issue i don't think i'm anywhere near hitting the pan, but I think about this product quite often. I might not wear it every day, but it's in my peripheral vision. Sometimes I have items that I really like, but sometimes I just kind of forget about them and then they go bad or they spoil. This one here, I don't think that's gonna happen. It's such a special, unique, beautiful color. I think it's one of my favorite eyeshadows from Chantecaille or one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. So I don't think that I will be finishing up this eyeshadow here this year, but I'm still going to keep using it. And you can sort of see that there are certain areas of the eyeshadow that look a little bit more sloped. You know, it's like a little mountainous range here. And perhaps if I keep digging in that one corner that's a bit lower, I might hit pan. We'll see. Now moving on to some lipstick. This is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Morning Lipstick. Now I absolutely love a bright orangey red lipstick and this one here is no exception. I definitely began Project Pan thinking I would have more occasion to go out into the world wearing a bright red bold lipstick. 2020 has been a year to say the least so i haven't had the occasion to wear this outside that much i do wear it at home but i haven't made as much progress on this as i had hoped so i'm going to dedicate myself to using it and last time someone recommended that i also use this as a blush so perhaps next time that i wear this i will also wear it as a blush and that will help me to use it up i absolutely love the shade but I just want to make sure that I use it up before it goes bad because all makeup has an expiration date and that's why some of these items are in here. I just want to make sure that I cherish them completely. And for those of you who are unaware, on October 3rd at 4 p.m. UK time, Lisa Eldridge will be restocking her lipsticks here. A lot of her lipsticks have been sold out and so she's going to do a restock of her lipstick and she's also going to be doing a new launch. Yes, she's launching a new product. I believe these are going to be lip glosses. So October 3rd, 4 p.m. UK time, go on her website. Okay, moving on to an eyeshadow stick. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Color Chameleon in Dark Pearl. This is what I'm wearing today. I wore this mixed with Pangolin. I just sort of mixed these two together because this here is just so easy. Like if you want an eyeshadow look that's super simple, you just go like this and then use it as an eyeliner and then blend it out. And then I took this here with my finger really lightly on the inner corner and this is the makeup look that I have. I think the key to successfully using up eyeshadow pencils like this is to stop thinking of them as a single eye look. Like yes, you can just blur this on really quickly and have it be a single eye look, but it's also really lovely to mix with other products. And maybe that way that will incentivize me to use it more often and just to incorporate it with other looks because I think this would also 
look really lovely with these Chanel Ombre Première Lac. I have the shades Desert Wind, which is a bit more of a darker taupey color. And then I also have Rayon, which is a really nice light champagne color. But I think mixing either one or both of these with this shadow stick would just be a really nice look. And so I think that's the key. If you have items that you're having a hard time using, think of ways to just mix them in together. And as a side note, I have a subscriber who told me a few weeks ago that she was at home using one of these um, liquid eyeshadows and she dropped it. And I don't know if you noticed, but these are glass. That's glass and it shattered everywhere into a million little eyeshadow pieces. Everything is fine, she's fine, everyone is safe, but it sounded like a disaster. So if you own these, just be careful because if you drop this, it will explode into liquid eyeshadow and glass. Now moving on to one of my absolute favorite lipsticks ever. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash 82 Live or Live. I have absolutely no doubt that I will finish this up in three months because I have twisted this up to the maximum. This is all that is left of this product here. I will finish this in three months, maybe in a few weeks even, if I just remember to reapply a little bit during the day. And now moving on to the Clé de Peau Refined Lip Illuminizer in Dahlia. Now this one here is harder to tell how much progress I have left. I'm a bit hesitant to twist this up all the way because I don't think I can retract the product once it's been exposed. But I have made progress on this. This one here, I don't know if I'll use it up in three months. I might, I might not. I'm not as concerned with this one here. I think as long as I finish up one of these lipsticks by the end of the year, I will be fully satisfied with myself. And the last three products here, I have successfully panned and finished completely. The first one being the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint in Medium. Now I started off this year with not a full size one, but at least halfway I believe. And it's empty, it's gone, there is nothing left of this. In fact, I bought a backup because this was completely empty. I don't think that's the point of Project Pan, I don't think the point of Project Pan is to use up your makeup to give yourself an excuse to buy more, but that's what I'm doing with Project Pan. So yeah, anyway, this is done, completely finished. There is nothing left. You can see through it completely. I don't know if you can see me, but I can see you vaguely through the plastic here. And now we have a concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Medium One Custard. This is a beautiful concealer, it's wonderful. Again, this one here, I can see little stripes at the bottom where I scraped to get more product out. This one here is completely empty. I haven't used it in several months now because there's nothing left, but I just, I kept it just to show you in the project pan here. And now another item that I am extremely proud of, I think this is on the same level as the Chanel Joux Contrast Blush. This is the Clé de Peau Concealer. I have the shade Almond. This is twisted up to the maximum. There's nothing left that will come out, but there's still some product in the tube here. I still take either my finger or my brush and apply the product. I'm not exactly sure how deep this product will go, but I mean, it won't twist up anymore, so I will accept this as success. I have successfully hit the pan on this concealer here if it will no longer twist up. Now the question is how much product, like how deep does this go? We will find out, stay tuned. I will let you know at the end of the year for the 12 month update. Considering how expensive this was and how much I love it, like this is one of those items that I coveted for a long time and debated, went back and forth. Listen, it's really expensive, but it's probably the best concealer I've ever tried as far as coverage, not creasing, staying in place, and also it has a little bit of sunscreen in it, which is always nice to add a little bit more sun protection around your under eye. All right, guys, this is it. This is the nine month 
check-in for luxury project pan let me know down in the comments what do you guys think of project pan have you been trying to pan your items along with me or are you just here for the entertainment let me know down in the comments feel free to let me know in the comments if you have successfully used up finished hit pan or made some sort of progress on any of your makeup items at home let us know in the comments okay guys i think this is it for today thank you all so much for stopping by i hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys next time bye